morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we need to be taking a look at a couple of Pokemon that can be invincible. We're looking at two Pokemon that don't seem to have much in common on the face of it, but they're both stage ones, and they both have the opportunity to become full-on invincible, and actually, this is the right time to have these cards. These are coming along just at the right time, because we've had some other cards lately that are going to make these cards way, way better. We're talking Doug Trio and Shinotic, and given my completely obvious and not even remotely hidden bias, let's start off with Doug Trio, shall we? Now, Doug Trio comes in with 90 HP, which is low for a stage one, but honestly, it is expected for Doug Trio. Sad face, I suppose. Retreat cost of one means you've got access to U turn board for free retreat, which is quite nice. And a weakness to grass is fine. Rillaboom is not taking over the format. Celebi and Venusaur was good, but that was before Unbroken Bonds came out and brought the Fire Decks with them. So, yeah, you're alright for now. Being a fighting Pokemon, however, is awesome. It means weakness on stuff like Pikachu and Zekrom and Dene. It means you can do extra damage using Diancy Prism Star. It means you can reduce your attack cost by Karate Belt if you're behind on prizes. It means that you can use Martial Arts Dojo to do a little bit of extra damage. Now, there is one attack on Doug Trio, 2 energy, 70 damage. It is fine if you've really got nothing better. That is the last we're going to say about that attack. But the first attack for Doug Trio is one that we do like very much indeed. One fighting energy, 30 damage, flip a coin. If heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, from your opponent's Pokemon during your next turn. It gives you complete immunity from anything. You flip heads, and next turn, nothing bad is happening to you. Now, what is very important is you are preventing effects from your opponent's Pokemon. That means that if your opponent switches their active Pokemon, if they go away and bring somebody else in instead, you've still got immunity. Your opponent can attack next turn and do damage, but they have to use something like a Pokemon Catcher or a Boss's Orders to drag one of your bench Pokemon active, and then they can attack that. But they cannot attack Doug Trio. Doug Trio lives. Of course, if you want to live really on the edge here, what you can do is just leave Doug Trio active with no bench Pokemon. And then if you can flip ahead, your opponent can't do anything. Your only Pokemon has just gone and got itself immunity. And then your opponent can't attack anyone. Now, I said this is a good time to have this kind of attack, and the reason is, in this same set, we're getting ourselves Glimwood Tangle. And Glimwood Tangle comes in as a stadium card, which lets you, well, it's the old Victini. It lets you reflip coins. Now, it's all or nothing, but there's only one coin here anyway, so it doesn't matter. So, essentially, you flip for Doug Trio. If you flip Tails, you can just flip again. So now instead of having a 1 in 2, a 50% chance of flipping heads and getting immunity, you've now got a 3 in 4 or 75% chance of flipping heads and getting immunity. And bearing in mind, Dugtrio is a single prize Pokemon, which means in theory, your opponent gets to take one prize every four turns. Now that gusting will come at a premium here. It means that your opponent can gust around, take out your bench Pokemon, etc., but then in theory, if you can run them out of that, they lose. Now, there's every possibility that they play four bosses' orders and a pal pad, for instance, which would potentially give them access to six bosses' orders, which would essentially mean that they can just gust for six prizes and win the game. And if that happens, it happens. There's not much you can do about that. But bearing in mind they've got to get the gusting at the right time, You've got to have Pokemon on the bench that they can take out, etc. And yeah, there's going to be those 1 in 4 turns they can actually attack. But it's 1 in 4 on average. There will be games where you flip multiple tails and that's really sad. 
But given there's a 75% chance, there is going to be plenty of games where you keep flipping heads over and over and over and over again. And your opponent just has no answer. That's why I love Doug Trio. Now, the other thing to bear in mind here, of course, it's a fighting Pokemon. So that 30 damage isn't really 30 damage. That 30 damage is 50 damage. Or with a martial arts dojo, 60 damage. Or if you're behind on prizes, 90 damage. Obviously, Diancy was the first 20. And from there, you're just rocking. If you're doing 60 to 90 damage while getting immunity three out of four turns on a stage one single energy Pokemon... That's pretty awesome. And you can always add that second energy to do a bit more damage if you like. Sorry, I know I said I wouldn't mention that attack again, but hey-ho. I really like this. This seems like the kind of thing which is going to be a really, really fun rogue deck moving forward. What you really need is some way to turn off your opponent's trainer cards and you'll be fine. There is a potential awkward but potential combo with this and Omastar. Now, Omastar is another fighting Pokemon, and if you've got fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, they are item lot. So there is a possibility here that you can have, say, one Doug Trio, one Omastar, although you really probably do want another Diglett on the bench ready to evolve, or another Doug Trio, and then your opponent can't play item cards, and you've got immunity three out of four turns. Your opponent can block that by having three or fewer Pokemon in play, but then again, they're not taking a KO, you know, three out of four turns, and they're limiting themselves to three Pokemon in play, this could be a very fun combo. Now, moving over to Shinotic, we see a very similar thing. We do have a little more HP at 110, which is lovely. We do go up to a retreat cost of two, but Air Balloon will fix that. And because you should be a fairy Pokemon, you actually come in as a psychic Pokemon but with a weakness to metal, because you should be a fairy Pokemon. Now, this one actually works beautifully with Glimwood Tangle. Now, the first attack is very, very similar to Doug Trio's, with one difference. One colorless energy, so to be fair, the colorless energy is easier. 30 damage, flip a coin, if heads the defending Pokemon can't attack, during your opponent's next turn. Now, the difference here is that this is actually less good than Doug Trio, because your opponent can switch their active. You stop the defending Pokemon attacking. Whatever Pokemon your opponent has in the active is not allowed to attack next turn. The problem is they can just retreat or switch, bring up a new Pokemon, and then they are well within their rights to start attacking. That's a problem. And that is a problem, incidentally. That will, that will hurt. Because it's much easier to just retreat or switch out most of the time than it is to find a gusting. If you want to play boss's orders, it's got to be your only supporter card for the turn. That's not great. But if you've got an air balloon and a Pokemon with two retreat, one or even zero, don't know why you'd have the air balloon on, but you know what I mean. You can then just retreat and attack. That's why I like Shinotic less than Doug Trio. I mean, as a Pokemon, I like Shinotic less than Doug Trio. But in terms of attacking, I think it's far better to give yourself immunity than it is to stop the defending Pokemon attacking. The other thing, of course, is that we did see Big Parasol the other day. That's that new Pokemon tool card that prevents effects of attacks other than damage. Well, the problem is that Big Parasol stops effects to the Pokemon it is attached to. So if Shinotic comes out and attacks a Pokemon with Big Parasol, Big Parasol will go, oh, that's an effect on me, it doesn't work. Whereas if Doug Trio attacks a Pokemon with Big Parasol, Big Parasol doesn't do anything because the effect is on Doug Trio. It is not on the defending Pokemon. So I do think Doug Trio is significantly better in this regard. You're still going to use Glimwood Tangle. It's still going to work three turns out of four. But I really worry with Shinotic. As a side note, look how beautiful the art is on Shinotic. But I really, really do worry that it's going to be far too easy for your opponent to just switch and get out the active or just retreat, and then it's going to be a problem. I do, however, like Shinotic's second attack much, much better. One Psychic, one Colorless Energy, 60 damage. If Glimwood Tangle is in play, this attack 
does 60 more damage. It does 120 damage. Now, for the first attack, you should have Glimwood Tangle in play. Glimwood Tangle should be a given. Also, points for a theme here because obviously Shinotic does love chilling in Glimwood Tangle. So I absolutely adore this thematically. As it stands, you should pretty much always have this in play. And then you're doing 120 for 2 energy. 120 for 2 energy is actually really good. It's a very, very efficient attack. I don't think you're going to be getting giant KOs here. I mean, for a point of reference, the Pokemon that is most relevant here to hit for weakness is Mewtwo and Mew. But they've got 270, 280 really if you're hitting for weakness, which means you need to do 140 and you're only doing 120. Even with a Vitality Band, you're going to fall just short. Yes, you can use the first attack, stop them attacking, and then KO, but that becomes a little bit more awkward. But I do love the option of just going, right, well, I'm attacking here, stopping them attacking, stopping them attacking. Oh, they've now got less than 120. I'm going to go. And get a KO. Do 120, get the KO. Here's another issue, though. When Doug Trio gets a KO, Doug Trio still has immunity next turn because it's getting immunity from your opponent's attacks. When Shinotic gets a KO, they stop the defending Pokemon attacking, but the defending Pokemon isn't there anymore, and the incoming Pokemon isn't affected by Shinotic's previous attack. Which means that every time Shinotic gets a KO, whatever comes up next will be able to get a free hit on Shinotic. Whereas in theory, Doug Trio can keep getting immunity over and over again. And that's a little bit of a problem. I don't like Shinotic as much for the first attack, though I do like the second attack. I do like Doug Trio very much, and I love that we've got both of these Pokemon that can come along and rock immunity on a coin flip, especially given that we've just been given Glimwood Tangle, which turns that 50% chance into a 75% chance, and that makes a huge difference. Make me pick between them, I'm picking Doug Trio every time, but don't sleep on them. These could be very, very nice cards. Let's give Doug Trio between three and four Wossies, because you can get immunity for the entire game. And let's give Shinotic three Wossies, because as good as the second attack is, I do worry that your opponent can just switch and take a KO every time you take a KO, and that's going to be enough to save the day. But I'd like to know what you think about these Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Me nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, or you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassyplays, where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have Pokemon in, but are pretty gosh darn awesome nonetheless. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.